Is God a man or a woman or both? Is God the original creator of all beings? That sounds like a religious person. Mm. Um, when you're in a religious state of mind, you, first of all, you have to think who or what is God? Who are you talking about? Because yes, God is man. Yes, God is woman. Um, but when you say the original creators, um, that's where it kind of gets a bit, you know, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It gets like confusing mm. because you are God. Yeah, male or female. Obviously, the male comes from the female. So the woman would be, or the female would be the original God. Um, but when you start saying creator, you're going into how far back are we talking? You know, mm -hmm. because the planet didn't have a, a, the type of life forms that are, are on it now, originally. So you're going back to our planet, to our galaxy, to our solar system, to our universe. Because there are others, you see. So sometimes that question of who is the first creator, it depends how far back you're going. Certainly if you're talking about on the planet, yeah, it will be the original Patarites who evolved from the waters onto land. And then those will be the females because you're dealing with the, the, the females first. The females, females um, were speaking before the males. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, the male comes from the female, so, yeah. Yeah. Even if you're looking at it on a scientific, when you're dealing with, like, chromosomes, mm. female have the XX and then the male have an XY, so the Y would be a deformity of the X, so... Yeah. That's a shame. You but even then, when you touched on the X, the chromosomes, you can find out that there are different beings with different chromosomes. Mm. So you got, like, hermaphrodite, hemophrodites with X, Y, X, Y, X, X yeah. or Y, X, Y, you know, so, yeah. Who is the creator of everything, the universe, all of it? <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like English, sometimes you just have to yeah. dissect words because when you say everything, mm. we've already broken down many times that what are you calling a thing? Mm. Because things are quantifiable. Things have a sum, a weight. Um, so when you say everything, um, is that what, the planet, the solar system, the galaxy, the universe, because all those are things. Um, Wu Sabat teaches you that, you know, we predate what people are calling things, mm. people, places and the things, because yeah. we go back to being, you know, gases or nine ether, the original etheric beings, <clears throat> which is all gases, all things combined where all conscious and conscience gases combined, that's ether. And that's where we evolved from. And that's a whole different makeup because it's not dealing with your physical form. You know, that ether comes down into physical form or slows down in terms of vibration to become things.